how have you been able to keep fit at 70 like this? So, can you, can you run us through that, you know, at 70? I want to be like you when I'm 70. <laughs> well, you may want to be like me when you are 70, but are you ready for what I'm about to say? <laughs> because I don't know, so, you know, you did one series years ago, else for like one year. Yeah. You went, ah, I'm like... <laughs> I stopped eating rice 24 years ago. <laughs> I stopped drinking Coca-Cola 23 years ago. I stopped eating Amala made out of yam 23 years ago. I stopped eating I, I mean, I stopped eating Eba 24 years ago. You ask me, oh, what do what do you now eat? It's body bogo jetiton. I got I got to the point where I realized that. The food of Africans was designed by farmers. Mm. And those farmers, when they wake up in the morning, they can eat a cup, but maybe pounded yam. In your lunge, okalobu, a rirara lunge, kenoma dile nuguru. They ate pounded yam because when they went to farm, they burnt it. But here we are, we're sitting in an air-conditioned church. When the service is over, I shall enter my air-conditioned air car and go to an air-conditioned air restaurant <laughs> and then go to my air-conditioned home. In fact, my room in my house, the, uh, I live in a small house in Lekki, and my room has four air conditions. Mm -hmm. Just my room alone. Mm -hmm. I can only put two on. Even in the middle of the night, I have to put one off. So you find that our mobility is limited. So, it became obvious that if you want to live long, you have to do some things. Can I be brutal? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. For all the men who are here, never forget this statement. You will never see a fat old man. Hmm. 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 Have you ever seen a man who is 90 and big? Mm. Rev, Rev. Hey, you learning brutal, yo. Hey, Rev. You will never see a fat old man. Oh, my God. So, after avoiding all those things, I now found that it wasn't enough. The, the culture of our eating was also not the best. Anything you eat after six never digests. And it's a preacher's disease. Ask, I mean, Reverend Steve, ah, we'll finish crusade in uh, Bogatanga. <laughs> Don't bring out the food by 11. <laughs> Banku. Anokra. And Kenke. <laughs> I watch it. I watch it by 11 in the night. <laughs> when you eat those things, your body has to store it. Since you cannot burn it. So it stores it here, it stores it here, and it stores it here. Anything you eat after six, you cannot burn. That is the truth. Next truth is this. When you reach 50 plus, cow meat is not good for you. But Nigeria, how can you eat without meat? What is there to eat? <laughs> In fact, we are not bad. Go to southern Africa. Hmm. One boy came from Botswana to 
Kuridi Kumaya's conference. He ordered rice. So they gave him rice and put two meat on top. He's thinking, what is this? <laughs> Where he's coming from, you don't see the rice. The you see the meat. <laughs> so heart disease in southern Africa is a big issue. So you want to have a good heart and good kidney. Those two things. They'll cut down your meat. They'll cut down your sugar and cut down your salt. By the time you enter 60, you should try to say bye-bye to sugar and pinch of salt. He said, how will it taste in my mouth? I'll taste in honey. <laughs> you acquire the taste. I was flying into Lagos on Monday, first class. I flew in first class. And every time the lady was to serve, oh, you want your tea again? I said, yeah, black, no sugar, no milk. Sometimes I put honey, but a lot of the honey, they put sugar. And a lot of the things you are eating, they will not write sugar anymore because they know you don't want it. So they will write energy. Anything you read and saw, energy, sugar, you know, <laughs> That's wow. why you see that energy there is higher. So let me just take you through five, six things I do. Number one, I no longer eat after six. If I want to leave here, I'm going to be out. I didn't eat yesterday. I did not eat at all. I got to the room. Thank you very much, hospitality. They had a basket for me. I just took out the, uh, the grapes and, well, I spoiled myself yesterday. They had a bottle of peanuts. That's all I eat. The peanuts and the, and the grapes. That's all I ate because I needed the, the natural sugar from the grapes. That's what your body needs. The natural one. The body finds it easy to process than the dangote one. Because the dangote one had already, they've taken out what will help your body. It's now danger. One of the reasons for not drinking Coca-Cola is because there are 26 spoons of sugar inside. 26. So, number one, cut down the, the time you eat. Number two, cut down the size. You won't die. <laughs> and then let me give you the third shocker. I only eat once. I only eat once. I'm not a great food person. Maybe that also helps. I only eat once. Then number four. Age. Are you ready for this one? Mm. Are you ready for this one? Mm. I have a gym in my house. I do four hours. I can do two hours straight on my treadmill, walk my estate one hour, come back and do another one hour. So last year I lost the size of a four-year-old child from my body. I'm sure you can see that I've shrunk. Four-year-old child left this body. Four-year-old. And I feel lighter. I feel better. So, eat less, eat early, cut down sugar, exercise. cut down salt, exercise, exercise, exercise. One of the reasons for exercise is that it takes out the toxins from your body, gives your liver, your heart a good... One of the reasons, Pastor, why I now went that hard was that I went to my doctor, I do yearly checks. I'm not one of those pastors who will just say, Divine healing, divine healing. Yeah, I believe in divine healing. In fact, since 70, I've never slept in a hospital in my life. In the past 70 years. Never. Maybe when I was born, I think my mother went to the hospital because MRS was free. Military hospital was free. That's the only time I've ever slept in a hospital. But I, I do yearly check. And in the check, they said, you are now in the place where if you don't do something, we might begin to give you high blood pressure medicine. I said, me. Hmm. What should I do? They said, no more sugar in your food at all and pinch of salt. And then lose weight. I said, how far? Said, what they recommended. When I got near it, everybody last year were thinking. If I even Nigerian press, they said, Pastor Matthew is sick. <laughs> and they didn't know he was just trying to be healthy. So that's wow. it. It's a tough one. I hope I answered. These opportunities are very rare, but the questions are more, but time is